Hey guys, it's Victoria, and today I'm going to do the reality TV tag. This tag was created by Miss Dana Ryan, and I will post her video and the questions below. Um, I was really excited to do this video because I love reality TV. Um, it's something that I feel like maybe when I was younger, it was something that was more like taboo and sort of like looked down upon. Oh, you watch reality TV. And now it's to the point where I don't even care. I have a busy, crazy life, and I love to just relax and zone out with some mindless TV. So a lot of these questions are more HDTV type show questions, which I don't have that channel because we don't have cable, but I know enough about the different shows that I can definitely answer the questions. My parents have cable, so we actually do watch a lot of HDTV while we're over there. And it's probably the thing I miss the, the most about not having cable is channels like TLC and HDTV. Um, but I know enough that I can answer. So there are 10 questions. So, yes, <laughs> Lydia's having her toast. Number one, pick a race, food truck or amazing race. Definitely amazing race. I love the amazing race. I've watched most of the seasons and there is a Canadian amazing race. So I would be able to do that one. And it's something when I watch it, um, Noah loves to watch it with me. He's my six year old. Um, my husband, Matthew, he will kind of tune in every now and then and we always talk about like, who would do which challenge and um, my husband and a friend of ours have like joked about applying to do the race and I am always telling them they really should because I think they would be perfect candidates because they're complete opposites like complete opposites yet they're friends and they both have really different skill sets and neither one of them are really afraid of things like heights or water or I always find it's funny when people go on the, sh the Amazing Race and are like, I don't know how to swim or I don't know how to drive a standard. Like, you're going on the Amazing Race. You have to learn these things. So definitely Amazing Race. I would, I would obviously love to do that. Number two, in your race, would you be the driver or the navigator? And this one's hard because... <laughs> If I say I was with my husband, who I always sort of assume that I would do it with, um, neither one of us have a good sense of direction at all, like at all. I am terrible. I, I say there's a, a part of my brain that just doesn't function because I, I have to drive somewhere myself multiple times before I can remember how to get there. I was working a job once where I had to travel to a different like, site several times a week and it took me probably a couple of weeks of going down a few times a week to not have to use my directions. That being said, I am a good navigator when it comes to maps. I have no issues stopping and asking for directions. So I'd probably say that I would be the navigator. Matthew has more experience driving on like busy highways and things like that. So I think I would probably navigate. Number three, would you betray your alliance to win Survivor? I love Survivor. I watch it every week. It is sort of the hour of TV. Uh, right now, there's Survivor and then Big Brother Canada right after, and it's the hour of TV where I get my glass of wine, I sit on the couch, and I completely relax and watch those two shows. I was actually just listening to a Survivor podcast before I came on to film this. So would I betray my alliance? I think eventually you have to. You have to bring people to the end that you think you can beat. Um, and you have to sort of build your resume along the way. So if you're able to switch things around at a certain point and get out some of those big threats, then that looks really good for you at the end. The hard part is knowing when to do that, when to, you don't want to be seen as a flip-flopper, but you can't stick with the same group of people the whole, necessarily, the whole time. At, at some point, you have to pick each other off. So yes, I would betray my alliance. It's just a matter of, of when. Number four, in in your Big Brother season, would you lie about yourself? No, I don't, I don't see any reason to lie about myself. And I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't really have anything that would make me like a huge threat. It's not like I'm a, a millionaire or super famous or anything like that. So no, I don't think there would be anything that I would lie about. And I also think on a show like Big Brother where it's three months long, it's really hard to keep up a lie because you spend all that time sitting around talking about yourself and your history and your past experiences and if you lie about a big part of yourself like one of the winners of big brother big brother from a few years ago Derek big brother US he was a police officer and he didn't tell people and I don't know how you don't let it slip at some point some story that you tell like it would be really hard to keep that lie up the whole time 
So I don't think I would. I don't think there's anything I would need to lie about. Number five, would you kiss all the men on your bachelorette season? I don't watch the bachelorette, um, but sure, if you're on there, you might as well. Number six, what is the first reality TV show you ever watched? So growing up, I watched game shows, like I watched The Price is Right a lot, but I, I know that's not necessarily reality TV. So I'd have to say Survivor. I watched the first season of Survivor. The second, of, second season of Survivor, I was so into. My good friend and my sister and I, we made a big poster with pictures of everybody and we crossed people off. There was actually a guy that grew up in my the city that I live in who was on it and he was also an American citizen, so the Canadians can't play on the American Survivor. But he was able to because he was an American citizen and he was actually kicked off second, but he was the guest speaker at my graduation. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. So that would be the first reality TV show I ever watched. And then I got away from it for a few years. I watched a little bit of the third season and then just life got busy in university and things. And again, it was that time where people like didn't really watch reality TV. Um, but then, I can't remember exactly when I got back into it, but I've watched every season since then. There was probably only maybe three or four years where I wasn't watching. Number seven, which house hunters would you be on? Renovations, beachfront bargain hunters, tiny houses, or international? I love watching tiny houses. I think it's like so bizarre and amazing. Um, I would love to live on the beach, but if I was to live on the beach, it would mean I would have to move away from my family, so I wouldn't do that. So I'd probably say with international, I'd probably say renovations. Uh, we've only been in our home for three years and we did build this house ourselves, but there's obviously things that I would change. I would love to have a help with storage solutions, our entranceway, I think we could have designed a little bit better. Um, our basement could be finished or partially finished so that it could be a, like a real true playroom um, for the kids. So I think that's what I'd pick, renovations. Number eight, on Cutthroat Kitchen. Would you sabotage your biggest competitor or the weakest link? Um, I've never actually seen that show, but I understand what the question means. That's tough. Because I feel like if you sabotage your biggest competitor, they're probably going to overcome it. So maybe I would sabotage the weakest link just to get somebody out of the competition. Number nine, whose design style is your taste? Property Brothers, Love It or List It, or Fixer Upper. I cannot stand the Property Brothers. They creep me out. I don't, I really, really don't like them. And I don't know if they're Canadian, but they're on, there's a daytime talk show that they are on a lot and I like, I don't like watching it. I really don't like them. I feel strongly about this. Love It or List It, I like that show, but it's so fake and I just, I wish they could do it in a way that just like wasn't ridiculously fake. Um, I love Fixer Upper. I've only seen it a couple of times, but the husband and wife, I just think they are wonderful. I love her. So I'd have to, I'd have to go with Fixer Upper for my design style. And number 10, what's your favorite reality TV show? Um, I'd have to say Survivor. Um, I do really, really like Big Brother as well, but Big Brother is more of like a, a trashy summer a show and Survivor I just absolutely love and I've watched it for so long that would have to be my favorite. So Lydia has done her toast and that is the tag. So thank you Dana for tagging me and for creating this tag. Um, definitely create more tags because they're fun to do. So anyone who wants to do this feel free and if you do you can share the link below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.